What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to be going over how to land the agency in competitive Fortnite, which is like arena, tournaments, anything like that. This is going to be a loot run on how to get the best loot in the agency and have an advantage in the fights that you're going to end up fighting in. Uh, if you land an agency you should know how to fight off spawn and you should also work on eventually getting a better job. Let's get into it. Alright, so getting into the gameplay. Obviously you're landing the agency, you should work on getting a good drop to here if you're going to land here consistently, which will come over time. But as you can see, I'm going to slow this down right where I'm marking, right on that part where my marker's on right now, I'm about to put it there. It, that's exactly where you're going to want to land, right? So that area, it's going to be, there's going to be like a henchman uh, thing, you to disguise. And there's going to be a floor spawn, but mainly you're going to go break through this pipe, which I'll show coming up once I land. So you're going to want to like look at how many people are here. So this game, let's say there's about probably a little less than 10 people here, right? Based on the amount of people in the air and a couple people behind me. Maybe like around 10 people, I don't know. But I'm going to land right here, where my marker is on. You're going to get the gun, where there's no gun this time, but like, however many, you don't need a gun, it's just like, hopefully there's one there. But you're going to break through here. I accidentally put, pulled down, so I didn't mean to do that. You're going to break through right here, go straight, right, break this vent. And you're going to get this gun spawn right here, this burst. Yeah, it was a burst this time, it's not always going to be. And then you're going to put a wall there, and then you can scan yourself. So now you're going to get some shields, hopefully, from this. And you're gonna get like uh, maybe an SMG, sniper, AR. And then you're gonna wanna put on like a big pot or minis, not both, because there's a total of five slurp crates in the area to get you up the full shield. So there's three in here, you're gonna get them. And then you're gonna go up here above this, you're gonna build up here. And then someone's looking around making sure no one's in the area. Usually no one goes in this area in the very beginning to loot. Um, you're gonna get this chest, so I got a pump, I was lucky. And then uh, you break these last two slurp barrels, you get the 100 100 hopefully, because hopefully you got a big pot or mage or something. And you're gonna break this part of the thing I'm breaking right now, uh, the vent system. It's gonna be another chest that's gonna fall down on you. So I have pretty good loot at this point, and now I could fight, right? So I'm just gonna look around for more uh, respawns out here fighting that way. I know there's a guy above me. So I put, a, I put my floor down, kind of messed up that edit, but it's fine. And I'm just going to play this smart, right? I could take my time. I don't have to jump on him right away. I don't have to build up him and jump on him. But he's trying to push me, so I know I have time. I'm trying to whip out C4. So I tag him with it. I know he's white, and now I'm going to push, obviously, because I hit him 60 white, so he's at 40 health. And I didn't realize where he went, but he's right there. So then I almost choked that, but it's fine. Um, so now I like tax or pumps, that's your preference, whatever. I'm just gonna stay here for a second, use my minis, re re reload all my guns, regroup. So I hear footsteps around me. I'm thinking someone might come in this room. I'm not sure I hear them. It seems like they're coming towards the room. So I'm gonna stay here for a second, see if anybody comes in the room so I can laser them while reloading all my guns, obviously. I'm gonna try to grab this ammo box from up there, but I can't do that. So I'm gonna grab the ammo box, and now I'm gonna move on with the loot. So, obviously at this point, you're just gonna fight. You could choose what you wanna do, you could play it safe, or you could push more people. I, for the most part, play it safe, because that's just the way I play, I don't know. I don't wanna hold this medkit, so I'm gonna pop it quick, because I have time. And then, obviously I could hear the footsteps all around me, but some of them are henchmen, so I don't really have to worry too much. And then I have a decent amount of mats because I killed someone and they had a decent amount because they probably killed someone too. So this right here is the henchman. I'm just gonna. Uh, I probably shouldn't have killed that henchman, right? But I did. Because, like, that took off my disguise, so it probably wasn't worth it. So I'm gonna go and get another one. Now I hear a boat this way. So I'm gonna go check that out. And then what I should probably do right now is go get the fishing spots with my harpoon gun but I don't think I actually end up doing that but looking back on it, it's probably what I should have done I keep here in this boat I'm trying to pretend like a henchman right because this is actually a good strategy nobody really shoots at the normal henchman right unless they're right in your face so I could get an easy laser on someone that henchman's running in there so I know that something's going on in there because the henchman might call for backup so I see these two players fighting I hit this guy like once or twice my game like kind of lag for a second there, but I could throw the C4 in that opening, get it to kill, 
And now I know these guys that's left were fighting, so this guy probably is in full health. I'm just gonna monkey in his box, he has the drum gun, I missed my shots. But I hit him at the end, so I killed him. And now I'm just gonna sit here and regroup. Obviously the henchman is spamming my wall, but that's okay, because I, I have time, right? Uh, like, I'm just waiting here, because I'm gonna try to use a mini. Or, I don't know, there are minis right here, I'm gonna try to pick them up. But I'm trying not to die to a henchman, right? Because that would be pretty embarrassing. So, I kill one of them, and then I easily I kill the other one. I build so I don't die, because I don't want to die to a henchman. But, I kill them both, and then now I can go through all the loot. I killed the guy with the drum gun, right? But he already opened the vault, so... I decided I'm probably going to check that out in a second. And then... Get the bandages and go under the stair and pop them quick. So at this point I have a launch pad from the vault and the key card isn't there, so like I know the vault's been opened. And so I have two kills, right? I'm expecting like one or two people left in the agency. Pretty much everyone's probably dead. So I'm just gonna try to make my way to the vault and get that and get uh, leftover that I might want that I wasn't taken or some shield or something. I'm gonna pop this med kit quick because um, obviously I'm not full health and I don't really want to hold it anyway because I'd rather harpoon gun because there's fishing spots all around me. So, um, this way I think I'm going to grab this guy's. Yeah. And then I have this minigun. I put, could pick that up over AR or harpoon gun, but I decided not to. For your preference, you do get a minigun here every time, so that's pretty good. You could choose to hold that if you want because miniguns are pretty OP. But, uh, and then also if you want to upgrade that minigun, it's the same thing as the Brutus minigun, the same stats and everything, damage per second, everything. So if you would, did want to do that, you could basically have the Brutus minigun from the agency. But obviously that costs a good amount of each mat, I'm not sure exactly, I think like 200 or something of each mat, so that's a lot. But if you did want to do that, you could, you could spend a lot of time farming and get that. So I came in here obviously for the extra shields, I did not realize I was a real player, I thought it was a henchman. So he kind of caught me off guard. I also missed my shots. So I didn't hit him, but I'm just trying to stay in this corner where he can't hit me, and I'm gonna try to pop him mini before I jump out and monkey with my drum gun. Controller player. With the drum gun. Yeah. There, because I was terrible building, but I think I lagged a little bit. He got a shot through. And I'm just gonna jump on him with my drum gun, I'm a controller player, easy kill. That's another thing landing the agency, if you're a controller player, you do get the drum gun. Like, I'm a console player, so I don't think it's that, I don't. I think aim assist needs to be in the game for console players. But, it's still, like, SMGs and drum guns, it's still good with aim assist no matter what you're on, so. If you're a controller player, uh, landing the agency definitely is not a bad idea. So now I'm gonna go out. And this is pretty much when I'm pretty sure nobody's left in the agency. So I'm going to run around and check. But at this point, I've won the early game of the agency. Um, I'm going to speed this up until when I get in another fight in one second. Okay, so now I'm just going to speed this up to run through what I do between when... Like, the odds have filled everyone in the agency, so I've, I've finished the purpose of this video. But I'm just going to speed up and show this next fight quick because I hear footsteps. Obviously, they're not like, they're not henchmen because they're all dead, so I know something's up. I get a quick laser with him with the drum gun. So I know he's low at this point. Um, I'm thinking he's going to peek there. He didn't. But now I'm looking over here and I missed my quick scope because um, uh, I just missed. I don't know. I'm not that good. But, and then... Then I kill him with my drum gun easy, but I get beams right as I kill him. So I'm in a pretty bad spot right now, obviously. And I end up losing the fight. Um, whatever, I got top 25, right, just in time. And I got a 5 kill, so 5 kills off the bat. So that's going to be the strategy of how you're going to want to land the agency in competitive. Um, I would recommend using that loot method. It's going to get you good loot. And you're going to be able to, if you're good enough, get some kills. It's going to give you the advantage in fights, hopefully. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, 
um, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe and comment with more ideas for where for other places we could do in the future with this series. Thanks.